My name is Ebba Hoogenraad. I'm partner in the law firm Hoogenraad and Haak, located in Amsterdam. I'm gala member for the Netherlands. Let me tell you about advertising law in the Netherlands and why I love my work so much. Advertising is of course laid down in legislation. Moreover, we are famous for a self-regulatory system covering all kinds of topics such as alcohol, food, cosmetics and so on. The threshold for filing a complaint with the Advertising Code Committee is very low, it is free of charge and a decision is given within a month. It may result in a recommendation not to advertise the campaign anymore and radio and TV commercials may not be broadcast after the decision has become final. The alternative is to start summary proceedings before the civil judge. After an oral hearing at short notice, a decision is given to stop the advertising and it may even result in a rectification on radio and television, the website and newspapers. And that is why competitors often litigate in cases of misleading comparative advertising. The Netherlands is a very tolerant country. Good taste and decency is not much of an issue here. Um, the ruling often states that it is based on a personal view and therefore not in breach of the advertising code, so only truly shocking advertising is prohibited. On the other hand, we have very strict rules when it comes to advertising to children. Uh, advertising unhealthy food, such as crucially cereals and cookies and crisps and the like are forbidden under the age of 12. However, the good news is that it is rather easy to organize a contest or a sweepstake or other games of chance in the Netherlands as part of a sales promotion. There is no doubt that European law affects Dutch law. Health claims for food products are strictly regulated throughout Europe and this has had a huge impact on the food and health sector. The Netherlands is famous for being vanguard and this is because we are the only country to have an approved list for so-called alternative wordings for health claims that are allowed. And a common mistake that's often made relates to stock photos. Advertisers and the agencies often uh, overlook the fact that stock photos have only been cleared for the photographer's copyrights and not for the IP rights related to the content such as portrait rights and um, trademarks and copyrights on the content. Advertising law is all around us. Advertising law is detailed, it leaves room for interpretation Advertising is fun and that is why I love my work so much.